2018, what a year. But you know what? 2019 is going to be my year. I'm going to spend less time online and more time spending time with the family. And let's start right now. Uh, that's okay. I can always start tomorrow. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Happy 2019. New year, new me. Am I right? Now, you can always tell if a year was good by looking at the memes that came out in those 12 months. And, um, yes. So I'm going to have a look at some of them today. Uh, just bear in mind that this may not be a complete list by anybody's standards. I'm sure I've 100% missed some very important stuff. So, so, if I have missed anything, make sure you drop a comment down below. Tell me what meme I've missed, and maybe I'll tell you if I saw it and thought it was rubbish, or I'll tell you, yes, good job, welcome to the meme squad. You're my first member. Uh, well done, congratulations. Thank, thank you. Now, uh, let's start at the top. Let's start at the month that begins the year. January. January 2018 was chock full of some of the weirdest, most thought-provoking, arousing memes I've ever seen in my entire life. We saw the Tide Pod meme come and go very quickly, which was great. I said, it's time to move on, get rid of it. And like any meme, it died off. Thank goodness. We had the meme that was born from the VR chat. You get knuckles, uh, do you know the way? It was great to see all the sickos online just converge in one place and just drive this meme home and hammer it into the ground. I personally really did enjoy it. Uh, I got a good laugh out of just seeing all these random anime characters and video game characters just popping up in one area, all asking do they know the way. Beautiful. That's what the internet is all about at the end of the day, isn't it? We had the Shrek cringe compilation. It was a very short-lived meme and I didn't really see it a whole lot. But when used in the right context, like any meme, if used in the right context, it is... Oh. It is... Mm. It's like Pacha. You remember Pacha doing that? Mm. It hits that sweet spot. It really does. Uh, we had the Spaghetti Chef. Now, this is one of the memes that I absolutely hated more than any other meme of 2018. Spaghetti was stupid. I hated it. It just couldn't shake the feeling that that Spaghetti Chef was going to come into my room, in my dreams, and kill me. The, the, touch my spaghetti, touch my spaghetti. Piss off. The distracted boyfriend meme. Now, a lot of people, including myself, would say that this was actually a meme back in 2017. That's when it was kind of really sort of made popular, but the flow on effect from 2017 to 2018 was very much apparent with this meme. It saw many, many copycats pop up throughout the year as well. Each of them were good for a little bit in their own right. And you had a guy go into a forest and film a dead body, a... whatever the guy's name is. Silly, don't do that. But yeah, we all know the story. Move on. Move to the month of February. We had Falcon Heavy. That was the Elon Musk rocket that had a car attached to it. And everybody was like, whoa, there's a car in space. You don't see that every day, do ya? We had a really good meme pop up in February. It was the change my mind meme. It was a guy outside at a desk saying stuff saying change my mind, everybody went crazy on it, changed the caption, changed everything. It was funny, great, well done internet. Another really old meme that reared its ugly head into 2018 was the Burger King lettuce meme. Now this dated back to like 2015 and it was just a guy with his feet in some lettuce and he was talking about the lettuce, the lettuce, the lettuce. It had a good shelf life, a couple of weeks and then it took off, left town, probably got a job at McDonald's because he got fired for putting his feet into lettuce which is fair enough. He is stored in the balls, which I didn't know at first. Now I do know. So thank you very much, internet, for letting me know. This very important part of anatomy. We had people doing little collages set to the, you're so precious when you smile, 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 smile. If you ever had a crush, whether it was a virtual crush, a real life human crush, you would take all their pictures, make a beautiful collage, set it to this song, and if they didn't want to just crash tackle you, rip all your clothes off by the end of the day, clearly the problem is them, not you, because you have done everything you could have. Now, March saw the emergence of Fortnite. Now, I know that Fortnite had been around for months and months and months before then, but that's when it really caught fire. There's a plane going overhead. I'm sure they're going to drop people into tilted towers or something. This was the part of the year where everybody was playing Fortnite. Like, every single clout-chasing Instagram influencer was playing it. 
every little mediocre gaming channel was playing it, everybody was playing Fortnite. Myself included, we had the savage slash horny Patrick from Spongebob. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory. We had the American Chopper meme. Whether you're a normie, whether you're a underground meme king like myself, doesn't matter if you enjoyed this meme. That's all that matters. Okay? Now we move to April, we had Mason Ramsey, the warmer yodeling kid. When I first saw this video, I completely lost my SHIT. I had no idea it was gonna blow up to the extent that it did. The kid now has millions of followers online. He's got an album, he's got record deals, he's got merchandise, he's got everything. So he's one of the real internet success stories of 2018. Now I'm pretty sure this was the time that Avengers Infinity War came out and God dang it. You had all the Thanos memes. You had one of my personal favorites, the I don't feel so good meme. Mm. We move on to May and oh my God, I actually completely forgot this happened. Do you guys remember the all time legendary feud between Yanni and Laurel? Which one was it? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to kill anyone that says it's Yanni. Ugh! What did I think? I think I thought it was Yanni. But then everyone else was like, it's Laurel. And so I was like, oh, uh, I'm, I don't know. I, I don't know what to think anymore. There was so much that happened in May. You had like all the Zuck memes. We had the Bongo Cat playing the bongos, nice and fun. Bit of harmless entertainment for the kids. Captain America. Hmm. You made a shitty YouTube video. Hmm. How does that feel? There was the Bart Simpson chair meme, which was great. You had the butterfly meme where the guy's like, oh. Oh, oh, is this a great content creator? Picture of my face. Um, no? And last but not least, you had Childish Gambino's This Is America, which spawned, I reckon, one of my top three favorite memes of the year by far. Childish Gambino standing like a scarecrow, pointing a gun at, insert whatever you think here. God, that was good. Moving on to June, everybody across the world was thanking their bus driver for the first time in their entire lives. Now I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's when all the milk memes started popping up as well. Possibly. You had the guy saying, yeah, buy this car, buy this car. Oh, I'm a sketchy used car salesman. Buy this car, buy this car. Everybody that made that meme said it in that voice. Guaranteed. Uh, and then you had Alexa. Everybody across the world wished they were rich enough to afford Alexa so they could talk to Alexa and say, Alexa, I'm sad. Please play Despacito. Despacito. Now we move on to July. Now July was the month in which we lost one of our great Twitch streamers, probably the most recognized gamer in the entire world. Mr. Ninja sadly passed away from a case of Ligma. And then, <laughs> thank you to our medical breakthrough in the field, we were able to discover such debilitating diseases like Sugma, Sugondes. I think that was it, just two. Still good. Anytime somebody posted anything dumb ever, the ultimate clapback, this ain't it, chief. Low effort, but high results every time. Uh, there was the cat who wanted the Fruit Loops. Pretty self-explanatory there. Didn't last that long, I don't think. We finally learned the real names of many, many celebrities across the world, like Cardi B and uh, other people. <laughs> September was when Kanye West and Little Pump did their little collab music video where they wore the big Roblox costumes. Loved it, absolutely stupid, but I needed that in my life. Interwebs across the world were given yet another perfectly made clapback response. Weird flex, but okay. I'm guilty of using that one once or twice or 30 five times. You had the Netflix adaptation memes. Now when Hollywood decide to cash in on an already existing story and they make a really, really poor straight to Netflix movie, this meme format pretty much wrote itself. You had the birth of one of my favorite sayings ever, let's get this bread. To this day, I still use the term, let's get this bread. Actually on New Year's Eve, I said, let's get this bread, maybe 50 times, possibly a hundred. And I'm entering 2019 still saying it and I'm going to continue to say it until I get a stale loaf of bread chucked at my head because I've said it too much. Ah, and everybody's favorite, the moth meme. How could we forget the moth meme? Those were friggin' stupid. October, we had Shocked Pikachu. We had the rise to fame of TikTok, an app that I hold near and dear to my heart. We had the beautiful lip syncs of Hit or Miss by Nyan Yen Cosplay. We had the Maybe I'll Be Tracer song, and we gave kids the opportunity to just destroy everyone's hopes 
for the future. We had the Shane Dawson series and Jake Paul. Very good, very good. Everybody's a sociopath, apparently. We had the beginning stages of the PewDiePie vs. T-Series saga, which is still going on today. In the month of November, I'm not sure if much happened, but all I know from the month of November is they did surgery on a grape. And finally, December, it was an absolute shit show with the YouTube Rewind. We had the release of my favorite PS4 game of 2018, Big Chungus. We had everybody flexing their AirPods. And I'm sure there was a whole bunch of other stuff that I just conveniently forgot. Now, I'd be remiss to not mention many of the favorite internet celebrities of 2018, like Ben Shapiro, Kanye West, Takashi69, uh, Ninja, uh, and many more. That was a lot of memes. That was too many memes. So as you saw, 2018, probably one of the best years in history as far as memes go. So again, I'm 200% positive I did not cover every single meme of 2018. If there's some that you thought should have been in this video and weren't, for whatever reason, drop a comment down below, let me know. Uh, if you like the video, make sure you slap a like on it. Sub to the channel if you want to see more of me. Don't blame you. And that's it. Let's just hope 2019 is as meme-alicious as 2018 was. Uh, I'll see you later.